normal clock that you would normally see. And if we turn the clock control here, um, the stock control says minute and hour, but if we push it up, we get an air fuel gauge. That's showing in lambda. We get an intake temperature gauge, a vacuum and boost gauge, and then a fuel pressure gauge as far as right now. Um, I'm looking to add a function that shows alerts or shows information whenever the boost setting is changed because I do have multiple boost settings programmed into this car. Um, and then it brings us back to the clock and you can go in either direction. So back down to fuel pressure, back up to the clock, up to air fuel and back down to the clock and so on and so forth. Um, if you want the time to be wrong, you can set the time by pushing this stock in, so set the hour, we'll leave the hour at 17, which is 5 o'clock, set the minute, so we can set the minute to a 6, for example, and then we get 5.06, so it'll go from there. Um, each of these functions, for example, here's the air fuel gauge, they do have a peak hold function, you push this stock in, shows whatever the peak um, lean air fuel ratio is. Intake temperature. I mean, you can see the peak intake temperature if you want to see that for some reason. So, all of them do have a peak hold function. So, we can cycle it through. So, there's the peak fuel pressure. Um, let's go back to air fuel. So, for example, we have this peak figure. If we want to reset that to zero, you just hold this in and then peak values reset and then you let it go and it comes back. And so, now we see what's our new peak something different and that's basically how it works it's hard to capture on camera is how good this OLED display is it's very bright and very clear there's no backlight it just sort of naturally lights itself and you can see it from any angle in any level of light or darkness it's really really nice looking and I wish it looked better on the camera